my gosh. With respect to hearing voices, one of the things that we were in fact told is that there were noises in that area. People were calling out and we made the decision, I should say, our fire chief, Travis Hotz, made the decision that it was too risky to put people in that area. We have not heard any reports of people hearing voices uh, today or after last night. We've got this huge square mile mud flow up there that is basically like quicksand. It's, it's extremely fluid. It's moving. And uh, we suspect that there's people out there, but it is far too dangerous to get responders out there on, on that mud flow. We've got a roadway system there and that, that goes along there, and we may have people that were actually impacted in their vehicles as they drove up the road there. I was coming down the hill, I just saw the darkness, like somebody wants to no grab problem. you from the, yeah. and, uh, and everything was gone, like three seconds. And remember that this is a river that is dumping into a lake. It is continuing to fill up and it is eventually going to go.